So armed with my lucky four-leaf clover, it was back to fishing. But was it going to work? Well, just keep an eye on my left-hand rod and make up your own mind. Because the water's not that deep, the fish obviously can't go down that far. But what they tend to do is set off like a rocket heading to one side or the other, which can be tremendously exciting, but also a bit of a disaster if you've made a schoolboy error like I'd just done, by not having the bite alarm on and being a little late on the rod. Oh dear, how poor is that? Very, very poor. Bad angling, that is. This is going to get me in a right pickle. It's kited right in to my margin underneath these trees. And that is going to cause me no end of problem. I can feel it grating on everything. Oh, it's gone solid. No. Not 100% sure that the fish was still on, or just stuck round the other side of a tree, I decided to play it safe, and called Shoes, asking him to pop over in his boat and give me a hand. The last thing I want is for a fish to be trailing any of my tackle around if I can possibly avoid it. And that is all because I didn't switch my alarm. Just here is the line. So, you know, he came over, he's had a look, and there's the hook bait hanging out of the tree. Now, I'm not that interested on how we hook carp, but can somebody, for God's sake, tell me how they unhook themselves on a branch? Because I haven't got a clue. But saying that, time for a cup of tea, get me back in the ball game, we'll try and catch another one. <laughs>